Hey guys, today I'm going to heavily criticize this article and I'm criticizing this article for two reasons. A, they're getting rid of magic duels, which I have personally spent money on. I've spent around 80 or $120. I enjoyed the game. I thought the game was fantastic and it's something that I would have continued to play. I am criticizing how they announced it. So Amaket has been released for some time they tell the Magic Duels players that the Hour of Devastation will not be released weeks later than they should have. So in that time period, what they were hoping people would do is they would buy coins to buy the new um, maquette cards. So by the time that Hour of Devastation arrived, they could pretty much you know, buy more coins to continue this process of filling out their inventory. Magic Duels was not perfect. It was not perfect many reasons because Magic wanted to support Magic Online. So you had limitations, you didn't have draft, although I'm sure that that functionality could have been put in quite easily. You didn't have sealed, you did not have um, the ability to play four mythics, you did not have the ability to have four rares even, or even four uncommons. You were very limited in what you could do because they wanted you to pay money, right? Pay more money. But that's not the point. The point of a digital game is not we should just be paying more money. Uh, it should be enjoyment. And I did really enjoy Magic Digital Next. I am on Magic Duels. So Magic Digital Next is going to replace Magic Duels. They are not getting rid of Magic Online. One of the key things that they mentioned was Magic Online is doing very well. They fluff it up. Like, uh, let's read you this. Uh, Magic Online is in an exciting spot as we celebrate the program's 15th anniversary. In the program's 15th year, you've already seen some of our work in the early release of Amaket, one of our most successful set releases ever, the events celebrating the game's 15 years, and updates to our popular challenge series. Magic Online continues to innovate. I honestly would not use innovate as a term ever for Magic Online. If you look at Hearthstone, that is innovation. Magic Online, not so much. And we have more exciting news coming down the pipeline. So this is my second criticism. There's actually no news. Minus Magic Duels is gone. So instead of titling it honestly and say Magic Duels gone, and that's all they needed to say, they try to fluff it up with, there's another announcement. This is an announcement to tell you that there's another announcement, that in the future there will be even another announcement. Like why say this stuff, right? Why, f literally, we have more exciting news coming down the pipeline. What was the exciting news? That you celebrate your 15th year anniversary? Like, what is new here? Like, everything that you, you just said about Magic Line, we already knew. Like, there's no exciting news. So how can you have more exciting news? That doesn't make any sense. So overall, I am... Um, I have lost all confidence in Wizard of the Coast. Like... They did a good job, Modern Master 2017. I really enjoyed that set. That was done extremely well. The print run was high, which is good. But, I mean, I don't know who's running like the PR department, but you don't make an announcement that you will in the future have another announcement or more exciting news when there's no exciting news to begin with. Nothing has changed. Like, unless I'm missing the exciting news. It's the exciting news that we're getting rid of Magic Duels. I don't know, like, what's the exciting news? So anyway, uh, overall, I am... Mm, I'm playing Injustice 2, and it's a fun game. I'm playing Fire Emblem, it's a fun game. Final Fantasy is a fun game, and I don't mind supporting games I love and games that I spend time with. Magic Duels, obviously... Thank thankfully, we never became a Magic Duels channel. We experimented with it, and had it gone well, we would have become a Magic Duels channel. Magic Duels is dead today um, because people are going to read us and they're not going to log in. If they log in, don't log in, you cannot find another player to play with or it takes much longer and then the game goes belly up. That's the truth for every mobile game or any online game is if people don't play it, then you cannot find someone to interact with. Therefore, you will not log on yourself and that creates this puka trade effect, I would call it 
where no one is doing no one's sending out cards or no one is logging in and then there's no one to play and then that spirals into the death of the program overall i am uh I, I still am confused what the exciting news is. Like, I, like, what is the exciting news? Leave a comment below. Bye, guys.